Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. It is that time of the year again. Usually the first, first or second week of December is Art Basel or Art Week here in Miami. Tons of events are happening. Brands are popping up and doing activations. Um, there's tons of dinners. It's just a really cool time to live in Miami. I know a lot of my girls are coming into town, so hopefully I'll be able to link up with them. But in addition to that, my Christmas tree came today. So we're going to be putting my Christmas tree up. I have some brand gifts, um, luxury gifts from beauty brands and things that I want to show you all. And it's just going to be a pretty fun week. Um, so today I pretty much spent getting a blog post together. I did the top eight places to shop for holiday dresses. And all the dresses are on sale from these top eight places. And I also included the dresses that I would buy from these sales. So there's about a hundred dresses in this blog post. So if you're looking for a great holiday dinner dress, office party dress, or even a New Year's Eve dress, definitely head to my blog, Fashion Steel NYC. I've linked it down below in the description box, as well as in a pinned comment. And check out that blog post. So I spent most of the day getting that together. Um, and then I went and got my nails done. I got my usual um, OPI passion on my nails. It's just like a beautiful, like clear nudie pink. It's very cool. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I did today, you guys. But it's been a long, long day. I was actually supposed to get my hair like done today, but my stylist is gonna come tomorrow. We're gonna add some more hair because I need it to be long like I need a long flowy weave okay um and these are like mermaid braids but I definitely want more hair and more length um because when it comes New Year's Eve time y'all know I'm gonna be on a yacht I'm gonna be on a boat New Year's Day and I want a beautiful body wave of braids so we're gonna do that tomorrow morning actually and I'm also shooting a few looks just to get them out of the way for Art Basel tomorrow as well. So really Art Basel is like the weekend, but like a ton of events happen the week before. So I call it pre-Basel events. And last night I actually went to two events. I went to um, a like celebration at Nobu Hotel or Eden Rock to celebrate um, a whiskey brand so I went to that and then I went to a restaurant review like an opening at the uh, Ritz Carlton South Beach here on the beach and my girl Rhea invited me and so I was like why not I got myself together in a gorgeous dress and I we had a ball so what I'm gonna do is rewind it back to last night let that footage play through take you guys with me to the first two pre Basel events and then we'll come back here while I get ready for tonight's event. So I'll be back in just a few. 
All right, guys, so we have rewound it back and I got myself together for a few pre Basel events tonight. Um, I'm heading to an event at Nobu Hotel, followed by a dinner. We might go to some private residences. Tonight, I'm just a plus one for Rio because I was planning on just relaxing tonight because tomorrow is kind of crazy. But yeah, I got myself together. She gave me directions that tonight we're going for chic. So I ended up wearing this Lejeune's brown dress. You guys remember this dress from a while ago? Um, I have Fenty on my lips, Oscar de la Renta earrings. Tonight's fragrance is Baccarat Rouge 540, loving this. I will go ahead and pop up like the little reel that I created with this look so you all can see it. And we are going to go ahead and head out for the evening and kick off pre Basel events. So yeah, let's go. I'm actually really loving how this look came together. Hopefully this dress is still available, and if so, I'll link it for you all, but we are definitely feeling chic and ready for a night of fun. Let's go. pull out for their I believe 20 year anniversary and it came out of a wooden barrel that had been aged for like 200 years which is crazy um, and then also dinner 
at the Ritz Carlton. It was it's a Mediterranean restaurant. It was really really delicious. And I'm like I'm a huge lamb snob, and their lamb was actually very well seasoned and good. Now it wasn't better than poppy steak, but it was good. So now your girl is getting ready to head out tonight. Luckily I'm not going far. I am heading to the SLS South Beach. Um, one of my favorite places. I've taken you guys there quite a few times to check out their restaurant. Um, but they are having an event in their event space in the back with the MoMA. The MoMA has come down and they're showing, I believe, their PS1 series. So I'm very, very excited to check out this collaboration with the SLS South Beach and MoMA, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Um, that should be really cool and then afterwards i'm heading to another liquor brand party at the miami edition now y'all know the miami edition hotel is one of my favorites i did a staycation there not too long ago like this summer just to you know refresh rejuvenate i was feeling burnt out and i treated myself to a staycation in one of their ocean um front view rooms it was amazing i did vlog it so if you didn't see it go back and watch it um yeah and it's one of my favorite hotels so i'm definitely gonna pop by there i'm just finishing off my face put on a little fenty mvp my hair is as good as it's gonna get for now i'm gonna pop on a dress and i will show you guys the look and we will head out to the first event of the night all right you guys hopefully you can see me but I went with this full Michael Kors look. It's one of my favorites that I bought this year. Um, it is a Michael Kors, like, I wanna say it's like a crepe type of material bodysuit um, with a matching tulip skirt and belt. You guys know I was crazy about this look when it first came out and I think it's perfect for the evening. And I went with an all red look with my red Bottegas. I recently got these from The Real Real um, and the price was so good for them and they're super like comfortable uh, for the bag. Keeping with all red, we're gonna go with my red Ferragamo bag, which I love. I did Fenty Lip and the earrings are the Paradise Hoops from my collaboration with Hoop Mob, which you guys have already seen that video. The collection should drop on uh, Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, December 12th. Um, and if you wanna know more about the earrings and all nine pair that we're offering, as well as sunglasses, check out the previous vlog because I go through the entire collection in that video. But yeah, gotta promote my own products. So that's gonna be the look for tonight. Tonight's fragrance is Burberry Goddess. I've been wearing it nonstop ever since. I did a collaboration with them. It smells incredible. It has three different kinds of vanilla and it's just yummy. It's a yummy fragrance and that's how I want to feel tonight. Yummy. So let me go ahead and show you guys the full look and then we're out of here. Okay, hopefully you can see me, but this is the full look for tonight's festivities wearing a Michael Kors bodysuit and this is the Michael Kors premium line not Michael by Michael Kors. Like this is the premium, more expensive line that Michael Kors has. And then it comes with this little tulip skirt, matching belt with this super huge gold buckle, which I love. Um, my Bottega sandals, my Ferragamo red bag, got a red lip. And then my earrings, these are the Paradise Hoops from my collaboration with Hoop Mob that's coming out. These also come in silver and I think it's such a cute look. I'm giving lady in red and I'm here for it. All right, you guys, let's go.
right guys so we're just now leaving um sls south beach we just went to the moma a ps1 party it was really cool they actually had like live art installations being done and i caught one of them um <laughs> the artist swam through the pool and then she just got out and started on an easel which was really cool i ran into some friends there um, my girl Gigi was there um yeah it was pretty cool just got some drinks took some pictures and checked out the scene they had a really great dj as well so now we're on the way to the miami edition for i believe it's a spirits party um, and that ends in about an hour and a half, so I want to try and get in there for at least 30-40 minutes before heading home. And that's pretty much how this goes. You just hop from event to event. Luckily, these two hotels are on the same block and pretty close to each other. So, um, the traffic isn't as bad just yet, but in about a few days, it'll probably take like 30 minutes just to get half <laughs> half a mile all right so we'll go to the addition and we'll check this out and then we will head home for the evening before 11 p.m. on a Basel night. Yes, yes! Okay, so I just got back from, I went to a tequila event at the Miami edition and it was lit in there. Like the DJ was fire. The way they set everything up was really, really cool. Um, I ate a donut, a macaroon, and some caviar while I was there. And I had an espresso martini, which was one of the best espresso martinis I've ever had. So that was fun. Um, I like to pop in, get a vibe, meet people, say hello to the person who invited me, get the content, enjoy, nosh a little, and then I leave. Um, I'm probably not staying at any event for more than an hour if it doesn't call for it because I have about 20 more events I have to go to in the next five days. Um, so I want to start off slow, just ease, ease my way into art week. Um, I did see Museum Mommy, <laughs> Kim, Kimberly, um, from New York City. I follow her on Instagram. I saw her as I was leaving the SLS MoMA party. Um, she looks so beautiful. She's super sweet. Definitely give her a follow on Instagram. Just, she's an amazing person. I, I really enjoy following her. Um, and everyone loved my outfit. So yeah, I guess it really pays off that I like took the time to create like a rack of things where I can just pull stuff off of it to wear um, so that I'm not like fumbling last minute trying to figure out things. So yeah, that's it for today. I think I'm going to vlog like two more days for Basel um, and also just other things because I know not everyone is interested, but I'm definitely going to take you all to the convention center. We're going to see the contemporary art. We're also going to see Miami design where they do the furniture, um, collections. So yeah, that'll be in, in the next vlog probably. 
Tomorrow is super exciting. I'm getting my hair some length added, so I'm going to film that. My tree is here, so we're going to put my tree up. Um, you would have seen in the previous vlog that I got an advent calendar with like some baubles that I can hang on my tree from Louis Vuitton. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. I mean, I think we might open up some gifts. And then I'm going to be on a yacht tomorrow with Shiseido. I'm very, very excited about that. Afterwards, I think I have another event. Like, I have like 10 events tomorrow. Of course, I'm not going to be able to make them all. But yeah, I will, I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to, going to slip back into my little robe. By the way, that robe is from Skims. And I'm not sure they have it anymore. But I will link a few of my favorite like robe sets. I know uh, Soma Intimates has some gorgeous robes. I mean, I think a lot of them are on sale right now for the holiday season, so I'll link them down below. I'm not sure if this set is still available. It's quite like old in terms of like it already probably sold out. But if so, I'll link it down below. But Michael Kors, you guys know I love Michael Kors. In fact, they just hit me up today to do another <laughs> holiday like S campaign. So yeah, I'm, you'll be seeing some more Michael Kors before, you know, the, 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 the year is up. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed just a little snippet, a little tidbit into like what goes on at these like just events. Um, and I'll, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to take this makeup off, get in my, my, my robe and my house dress and I'm going to watch Scandal. I am starting to re-watch Scandal. I watched it when it very first came out and now I'm watching it like a second time and it's so good. Shonda! Mm, Shonda is such a brilliant like writer like I really admire her. Um, Alright you guys, anywho, I will check back in with you all tomorrow morning. We'll be getting this hair We'll we'll get some hair added and then we'll we'll get my tree together from Amazon. All right, guys. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. myself a little double espresso by the way the Nespresso machine is one of the best gifts you can give a coffee drinker for the holidays I've linked a few down below you can get them at several places I have the Nespresso virtual plus the round one and I love it okay like this thing is my best friend and it pays for itself the coffee pods are I believe like anywhere between nine and thirteen dollars a sleeve and ten coffees come in each box so you do the math it's way cheaper than you know going someplace and getting a coffee every day you could just make one at home and of course i put it in my little tiffany cup again another great gift for the holidays especially if you are in new york city head to the fifth avenue tiffany's and buy the new york cups they have like the Statue of Liberty on them and different monuments throughout New York City. And you can only get them at the Fifth Avenue store in New York City. Also, you can just go into any Tiffany store and get these cups. And I do believe they are about $120 for two, which isn't bad when you, you know, get something fun and kitschy. Anywho, up bright and early in this Tiffany, I mean, in this Skims house dress. This is one of my long sleeve house dresses because it's actually a little cool today in Miami. I woke up and it was 66 degrees, um, but it is going to get hotter later on today. Also, speaking of which, let me show you guys these house slippers that I just got in from Amazon. Now, what I like about these is that they have a thicker sole. I don't know if you can see. And they are just so cozy. And so I got a pair in black. I used to have a pair here in like gray, but somehow they got wet. <laughs> so I ordered these from Amazon. They came in a day, super cozy, comfortable. I believe they were like $13. So I'll link these down below if you're looking for a great pair of house slippers. 
just to keep your feet warm when it's cold out um, and your floors are cold. Like I have wooden floors, so my floors are a little cold. So yeah, they come in a ton of different colors, white, cream, uh, gray. Uh, so I'll leave these down below. In addition to that, I got my I got my Christmas tree from Amazon. It is over here in this box. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and like put it together and fluff it up. In case you are looking for a last minute tree, this one came in like four days, which was great. I went with a skinny tree because I don't have a lot of girth as far as space. I'm gonna put it right next to the TV. And a tall tree because I do have pretty high ceilings here. I think I went with a seven. Like a lot of people get nine, but I went with a seven, an eight foot tall tree. Yeah, eight feet tall. So let's get that out of the box. Let's get that together. And you all know I have the cool little ornaments from my Louis Vuitton advent calendar. Actually, let me show you those. Okay, so in case you didn't watch the last video, I got this advent calendar. It was a gift from my friends at Louis Vuitton and it is a ton of different like ornaments, like paper ornaments, which is really cool because I didn't order any ornaments for this tree. This is kind of last minute because I'm just all of a sudden in the Christmas spirit. But I've opened up the first four. I think today is December 5th, so I can open up another one. But this is what came in there. Like these are like flat and then you open them up and and clip them and then they turn into little ornaments. So I'm gonna have a little Louis Vuitton tree ornaments and I love all of the different colors too. So in this box here is my Christmas tree and I'm a little um, worried because this box is really thin. Like I don't know if you guys oh, can see it but it's kind of thin, but it is tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out. We're gonna put this tree up. And I'm also putting up my day one and two of Art Basel Instagram stories up right now. So that takes a little bit of time too, because if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know I really kind of curate my stories so it flows well and feels almost like a short YouTube video. So let's open up this box. Let's get this tree out and let's get to decorating i also think my hairstylist is on the way we're going to add a little more um length to my braids today and then we're going to get ready because we're having a yacht day with shiseido beauty brand so i'm looking forward to that maria is coming it's actually maria's birthday today so i want to run and get her a gift there's something that she wants from apple that i can get pretty quickly um and i got ria michelle is going to be on the boat as well um, and there is a dress code, so you guys have to help me figure out what I'm going to wear on this boat. All right, let's get started. I'm going to turn on like my little fake fireplace on my TV. I'm going to put on some Christmas music and we are going to get this tree together. like I don't know like an hour like really it's just three poles you put together but it took me a while to like fluff it up um it already came with lights so I just plugged it in and it's already lit up it's so cute I love it and it's kind of thin and just tall because I don't have like a ton of space I want to still be able to walk through here like with ease so yeah, it's super cute and I love it. Um, it was only like 
70 bucks from Amazon. So if it's still available, I'll link it down below. I think they sold out of the green and they only have like white and multicolored left. But I'll still link a few other trees that I was considering in that price range. But yeah, this is great. I can break it down every year, put it back in a box, store it and pull it out and it'll just it'll be just as good. So I went with uh, the 7.5 foot tall tree and it's actually pretty tall. So I think I have nine foot ceiling. So this is perfect. I'll give you guys a better look and then I'm going to go get myself together because my hairstylist is on the way and we will put some more hair in these braids and then we'll get ready for a yacht day with Shiseido. Okay, so I already have my Louis Vuitton little baubles here from my advent calendar and every day I'm just going to open a new one and put it on the tree. So far, I think today is the sixth, so so far I have five. I haven't opened up the sixth one for today. So I'm just going to figure out where to place these cute little baubles on the tree. So shout out to Louis Vuitton for sending me that advent calendar because now I have some baubles for my tree. And they can also fill in kind of like the spaces, but this tree is really good. Like I didn't have to do too much fluffing. I think we'll put the little snowman here. It's a good spot for it. Okay, so we have my Louis Vuitton uh, advent calendar that they sent me in the previous vlog. Today is December 6th, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this one. We have a, like, a white little paper Christmas tree ornament. So I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna use this little clip to secure it. And we'll add it to the tree. Here we go. And this is some strong paper, y'all. I love the golden flecks on it as well. Let's open this up. So cute. And then we're gonna secure it on this little clip. If I can get it. There you go. How cute is that? Let's see. Let's put this one over here. Back for round two. <laughs> yeah, it's time. I'm gonna get some work done. I'm gonna get this YouTube video up for y'all while she does my hair. And then we'll get ready for a yacht day. All right, you guys, hair is done. Makeup is done. Just a natural face. And we're getting ready to get dressed and head to the yacht for the Shiseido beauty event. Sorry I'm out of breath. I just ran up the steps. Ah. But as you guys can see, I got a little more length and just a little more thickness with the hair. And this is definitely what I was going for. And it's more of a wavy type of hair, as you can see, like a body wave. So yeah, I'm gonna pop on my pink code dress that you would have seen in the previous video preparing for Art Basel outfits looks. And you can't wear heels or even shoes on a boat. So I don't really care what shoes I'm gonna take because I'm eventually gonna have to take them off. We'll pick a fragrance, a bag, and then we'll head out. Let's go. All right, so here's the look, this pink code dress. And I just put on my Fendi slides for now because I'm going to take them off. Um, and these earrings that are pearl and gold. That is the look. I'm going to spray on a little Baccarat Rouge 540 and we are out of here. Alright guys, we've arrived. Rhea and I, we're here for the Shiseido event. And they have a little tent over here.
so i chilled a little bit after the shiseido um yacht like event it was really fun saw a couple of friends there saw my girl farah there and cassidy um and maria and ria and i we all just had a really great time taking photos and checking out their three new products which i will show you all tomorrow because they did give us a gift bag um but yeah i've just been at home resting doing a little bit of work posting stories and such uh putting the finishing touches on my tree but now it's time to party we are heading out tonight to a shiseido party and hopefully a party um with Portia at Soho House. Um, so that should be fun. Um, this is my look. It's actually really cold tonight, you guys. Like for Miami, it's pretty chilly. So I'm wearing this Zara bodysuit. The skirt is from Sonia Raikil. You guys would have seen this in my previous video. I picked this up from Century 21 in New York City. Um, I have my YSL jacket on my paradise earrings in collaboration with hoop mob um these will go live on december 12th they also come in silver but i'm loving the gold with this look just kind of matches all of my gold jewelry uh, the lip is fenty fireproof and it's so beautiful it's like a it's like a brick more autumnal red which i like because i feel like it pulls out like this kind of like orangey color in the skirt um i have on my michael kors uh, knee high boots which are currently on sale and then for the bag we're gonna go with my ysl bag which kind of works as well because there's a little bit of like brown here in the skirt so that's going to be the look for the parties tonight um, one of them is indoors and the other i believe is outdoors so i want to make sure um i can be like comfortable if need be i can also always just check my coat um i'll link a few similar jackets down below that are more affordable um if i can find a few online but that is the look let's see tonight's fragrance we're gonna go with my favorite right now burberry goddess i'll link it down below it just it smells so good and i get so many compliments when i wear it so yeah also, I am loving the new length of my hair and how much fuller it is. This is like really what I wanted to go for. So yeah, really happy that my stylist was able to come and just add length and add a little more fullness. Yeah, I'm loving it. All right, you guys, so I'll show you all the full. In fact, I'll just pop in the video of the full look so you can see it. And we are off to the Shiseido party at Faena Forum. We are bosling, you guys. We are bosling. Let's go.
Good morning, everyone. Um, so this morning you would have seen that I went for a quick bike ride, like a little 45 minute bike ride. It was quite busy today, which I figured it would be because there's so many more people in town. So there was lots of like runners and bikers on the trail. Usually it's quite empty. Um, so I was only able to get about 10 miles in this morning, but I'm still in my Zoom. Um, I just put some of this Rucker Roots daily leave-in uh, conditioner i love this stuff it has ginger turnip and carrot in it um and this is a black owned business it moisturizes refreshes and detangles hair um and i love the way this smells and it just keeps my scalp free of like buildup and dandruff and things and also it makes my hair smell really really good love this uh, so last night was super fun um i ended up going to an art exhibition, um, Shiseido is actually who invited me because they had their own little expedition there. Um, so yeah, Shiseido had their own um, ex exhibit there as well. And all of the art was, I don't wanna call it an NFT, but it was all like digital art, which was really, really cool. Um, and they also had some installations there. I believe BMW had, um, an installation so yeah it was really cool uh, and that was nice I was supposed to go to Soho house after that to see juvenile but by the time I got there they had closed <laughs> the door which was fine with me because your girl was tired so I just came home and relaxed so yeah today I have quite a few things to do I have an event with Meta at a private residence on the Venetian Islands which is cool because y'all know I bike over there just to look at those beautiful homes so it'll be nice to actually go inside one of those private homes um the event is with Meta and their collaboration with Ray-Ban I think they have some special glasses that we can check out there um and they are also having some kind of tasting as well so that should be fun I also potentially have an event with um, Architectural Digest, which is incredible. That's going to be at a restaurant, Casa Donna, which is new here in Miami. Um, and my girl actually invited me to that. So it'll be good to hang out with her, Camille, and see her. Um, what else do I have? And then I have two parties tonight. I'll probably only end up going to one, which is at Queen, which is um, by the watch brand, uh, Hublot. So yeah, today's gonna be a busy day. I'm probably gonna have like two outfit changes and my skin is going nuts. Um, I believe it's because I use like a new um, like primer and normally I don't use primer. I just like moisturize and then put my makeup on. But instead of using a moisturizer, I use a new primer and my skin reacted pretty badly to it. I mean, you can't tell, but like my skin feels super rough, like, like a rash almost. So I'm trying to calm my skin down. So I'm going to be using my skin gem today. Um, I got this from JCPenney and it's pretty affordable. It makes a great gift. It has three different kinds of light, one for acne, one for like redness and inflammation. And the other, I can't remember what the other one was for a girl, but yeah, hopefully it's charged because I haven't used it in a minute. I might need to charge it. Yeah, I'm gonna let this charge for a minute and then I'm gonna pop this on for about 10, 15 minutes um, with the red light. Oh yeah, it helps to kill bacteria too. So yeah, I need to plug this up. Let's go open up day seven of my Louis Vuitton advent calendar and see what ornament that is. We can put that ornament together and put it on the tree and I'm gonna make myself a coffee because Lord knows I need one. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but the red light is on and that is going to help with like inflammation and whatever my skin is going through right now. So I'm going to leave this on for about 10-15 minutes while I just do things around the house and hopefully that should help. Alright, let's check out the advent calendar. hard for me to find seven but here it is it's another red ornament hi guys 
okay i got myself together did an everyday makeup look a little dior lip glow oil in rosewood on my lips i've linked it down below i'm very excited because i'm finally wearing this sheer dress i did a reel in this a little while ago and it kind of went viral um it's not everyone's cup of tea but i think it's perfect for art basel it is definitely giving art with the abstract faces on it this is from something by sanji's personal line sanji has her own line of clothes in addition to the two collections we do every year together and when i saw this dress i had to have it it's so good and i'm going to a meta event um the meta creators creators house and you guys know meta or facebook they are blue so i feel like i'll be right on trend they are having an event um, in collaboration with Ray-Ban. So I want to see these sunglasses. I don't know if they're sunglasses or if they are like a collaboration with their Oculus headset, which I do have. I love it. I need to actually get back into my Oculus workouts because they were good. For the shoe, I went with my Loewe balloon sandals, a nice conversation starter. And I'm going to pair it with my Bottega Jody. They do have like a similar bag like this at Anthropology, which is a lot more affordable and it comes in a few different colors. So I'll link that one below if you're interested. And then we're just gonna top off the look with these and other stories, sunglasses, best $29 I ever spent. So good I bought them twice because I lost one pair. So that's the look for today. Today's fragrance is going to be MFK, Maison Francis, Kurt Dijon, Aqua Media. And I haven't worn this in a while, but because this is a daytime event, I want to smell like very fresh and like youthful and just clean. And this is what that gives. It smells so good. It's one of my favorites. So that's going to be the look. I think Rhea is going to be joining me. And I will take you guys with me. When we get back, I'll probably show you what I got in from Shis Shiseido the other day. But it was just those uh, three products. All right, guys. Let's go.
guys we made it to the meta creator house which is a glass house here um, and we got a demo of the meta ray-ban glasses their sunglasses which are pretty cool i'm thinking those would work well for my bike ride so i can film my bike rides without like hands-free um i do have like um a gopro but it's really hard to get a personal view from the gopro because i'm turning my head so much and it's on my helmet so yeah that might be a good option maybe i'll get someone to get those for me for christmas but yeah they have um a patron boat here as well and some little some activations i guess uh patron is sponsoring so yeah just on this boat and he said it's it's my boat so this is my boat now you know it's a beautiful day i wish it was a little more sunny but <sighs> nice nonetheless and my dress is a hit so yeah even though I'm gonna change for tonight so I will check back in with you all soon probably when I'm heading to uh, my events for the evening You guys let's check out this bmw i7 this is the 2004 edition look at these crystal buttons it's giving looks i love the brown leather interior the wraparound dash and then the full roof very cool i don't know maybe i'll get a car <laughs> yeah it's so nice. Hi. I could just smell the luxury. All right, guys, back home from the meta event. That was really fun. That house, gorgeous, stunning. That car, gorgeous, stunning. Um, Honestly, I don't think, I, I get a lot of questions about whether I'll get a car. And honestly, I don't think I will get one until I have a standalone house with dedicated parking. Although when you live in Miami Beach, you can apply to get residential parking for free. Um, just the stress of not being able to find a parking spot is enough to drive me away from getting a car. And I'm pretty much in walking distance to like all my major necessities right now. But I feel like when I move into a standalone house, that will be when I will need a car. Anywho, I got lots of compliments on my Something by Sanji dress today. So I'll link it down below. It might even be on sale um, on her site. So what I'm going to do now is just chill for a bit until tonight. I'm going to end the vlog out tonight. Um, but I wanted to show you what I got from Shiseido yesterday on their boat. They gave me their Future Solution Beauty Longevity Collection. Uh, let's see if I can get this open for you guys so you can take a look at what's in here. Ah. Look at this. How gorgeous. I love Shiseido products. Their packaging is always just like impeccable. So we have the extra rich cleansing foam, the concentrated balancing softener, and then we have these three little things here. This is the future solution. This is the broad spectrum SPF cream. And I'm pretty sure this is eye cream because it's so little. But yeah, this is what they gave me. They also gave me a few uh, gift cards. And then we also have the Urban Environment VitaClear with vitamin C. And this, the Future Solution um, cream. 
So lots of little goodies that I would be trying out. And yeah, I'm just feeling really good. Probably because I got a bike ride in today and I don't feel like a bum. You know, the days I don't work out, I feel kind of sluggish and I'm really trying to get back on my schedule and waking up earlier. Um, so I'm just gonna relax for a bit. I'm gonna change later on. We are going to wear this dress, which I have never actually worn out. This is the dress from a Sammy B. So we're wearing this tonight for the Architectural Digest event and then for a dinner at Queen with Hublot. So I will check back in with you guys when we're getting ready. We'll, I'll take you to those two events and then we will end out this first vlog, which was a little bit of everything. We got some Basel events in here, art week things. We saw a little art. We went to a few events. I showed you some new in items. We put my tree up. I mean, it's been, it's been a, a week. It's been a week. Um, and then we'll start another Art Basel vlog after this one. And there'll be multiple things in the vlog. So I hope you all are enjoying this like kind of behind the scenes of what it's like. Um, I'll maybe do a blog post because I get so many questions about like Basel and what it is and what the schedule is and it's never the same. So I think I'm going to do a blog post to kind of summarize how it goes for, you know, just in case any of you want to come in the future. All right. I'll check in with you guys soon. I can't wait to chill a bit. Hey y'all. So I've gotten myself together, refreshed my makeup a bit put on some Fenty MVP and my dress from Sammy B, black designer. I'm so excited to wear this dress. I already know I'm gonna get so many compliments tonight. Um, I'll put my hair in just like a little low pony just to show off the neckline of the dress. It's really cool with the zipper here. And the earrings are Swarovski, the yellow ones, to kind of match the sleeve here. And I think, we're all good for tonight's festivities. So I'm going to head to Casa Donna, which is a new restaurant here. I believe it's a, it's, is it a Dave Grotman restaurant? I think it is, um, but it's a new restaurant and I haven't been yet, but I'm going um, soon for a hosted dinner that I'm doing with Tangeray. So that that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm heading there for Architectural Digest. My friend Camille invited me, so I definitely wanna pop by there. And then I have to make it back to the island uh, for a party. Now, this is where things get dicey during Basel because you're either on the mainland or you're on the beach because there's only three bridges that go across and with an influx of so many people, you can be on a bridge for an hour. So, I'm about half an hour early for the event now, so I'm going to leave now so that hopefully I make it 30 minutes after <laughs> the event starts. And then I can only stay for about 45 minutes before I have to leave to give myself at least an hour and 15 minutes to get back to the beach. Um, you always have to add about 40 minute travel time during Basel, especially if you're going from the beach to the mainland or from the mainland to the beach. Most people pick a day and they end up staying in just one of the other places because the traffic is so horrible. So yeah, I'm feeling very cute. I'm gonna put back on the same uh, Loewe sandals as earlier. Great conversation starters. By the way, I didn't show you guys my new bracelet that I got at the Meta event. They had um, Eternity uh, bracelets there. So this is gonna be on forever. There is no class. You would have seen her like weld it together with a shock like with a heat and so yeah now i have a forever bracelet the only way i can uh take this off is to break it and i think it like really sets off my arm party like i was looking for something to go on this wrist and this is perfect just a little um bracelet there so i'm loving that let me finish getting myself together we'll pick a fragrance a bag a shoe I think I might wear my jacket tonight too because it's a little it's a little cold um and we will head to Casa Donna and I'm really excited I hope they have some food because I heard their food is good let's get ready all right here is the look for tonight this Sammy B dress I think she restocked this so 
I'll link it below if it's back on her website. Um, I have on my same Lueve balloon sandals as earlier today and the Swarovski earrings. Today's fragrance, we are going with an oldie but good. Tay Noir 29 by Lalavo. It smells so mysterious, like people love this fragrance. So I sprayed a little bit of this on and I mixed it with Molecule 01, which is a very unique fragrance. This is pretty affordable as well. Um, and I love the mixture of these two. So that is tonight's fragrance combo. And I'll link both of these down below. parties i went to the architectural digest party at casa Dono, which is beautiful that was my first time at that restaurant um and it's so stunning so shout out to camille for inviting me it was really nice to hang out with her as well as lola um and we just had a great time kiki and it up i saw my good friend mac as well and yeah we had a great time at that party it was just it was wonderful I would definitely recommend Casa Donna. It's so beautiful in there. I wasn't able to like try the food. Of course, it was a party, but we will review the food in an upcoming vlog. So stay tuned. Um, and then we headed to the Hubelow party over at Queen Restaurant. And I actually went to Queen's opening and I'm pretty sure I vlogged it. But it's one of the mainstays, a newer restaurant here on Miami Beach. It's so gorgeous inside and they have Japanese flair. Um, and, uh, yeah, had a good time there. 
so I, all the all the friends all the girls all the people um that i know here in miami and it was just nice to catch up with everyone but now i'm home and your girl is tired and i need to upload these videos so you all can have the first basel vlog i hope it's not too long um but i just wanted to give you guys a taste of what art week is like kind of like pre basel art basel officially starts tomorrow which is like friday saturday sunday three days um throughout the weekend i believe it's december 8th 9th and 10th um and so yeah i will bring you guys along in the next vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video don't forget that i am hosting a giveaway for a free chanel bag um subscribe to my newsletter for details there's a link down to it below i think in the next video i'm going to announce the winner here on youtube so yeah, I've linked all the looks down below. My dress from Sammy B was a hit. Everyone loved this dress tonight. So I'm really happy about that. That I was able to shine some light on a ton of like black designers this art week, this art Basel, and get people to follow them and check out their pieces. So yeah, I feel like that's my part as a content creator during um, art week and art Basel. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.